Oh my word. The Drekas du Plessis Israel Adesanya press conference just took place. And Israel Adesanya broke down in tears. And I read this comment that said, Drekas du Plessis made two champions weep like little girls. Dude's a menace. And I have to agree. So how did it happen? At first, the press conference was going... It, it was calm. Like... It wasn't at the boiling point when the beef first took off. It seemed that Israel Adesanya and Drikas du Plessis had reached this calm ambience in their beef. But by the end of it, Israel Adesanya just lost the plot and started crying like a baby. How did it happen? A black interviewer at the end of the press conference asked Izzy, Izzy, this fool trying to bring culture into the conversation. This fool trying to bring culture into this whole question about who's more African. So what you're going to do to this fool for bringing culture into it? And Israel Adesanya was beginning to answer the question. He said, man, life won't easy for me. I started to come to this country on a plane and then Drikas interjected by saying, did you bring your servants with you on that plane? And then Izzy lost his money, goes, you fool, you don't know my story. Uh, you, you don't know nothing about what happened. My parents are in the crowd and I would die for them and I would fight for them. And he broke down in tears, but he didn't deny the claims because how could he? He himself said he had servants growing up. But yeah, there was a lot of good moments in this press conference. Like at one point, uh, this, inter this reporter in the crowd said, asked Drickus, oh, you were, you were the heavy, you were, the odd makers were against you, but now it seems it's even odds. And then at one point, Izzy interjected and asked, when did I become the underdog? And Drickus said, calm down, bro, chill, bro. Nobody said anything about dogs. So that was a cheeky little reference to to his to the dog gate scandal that happened with Izzy some months ago. But yeah, what else was there? You know, Drickus talks about his rugby team, the Springboks, and goes, "You're not booing me. You're not really angry because the crowd was booing Drickus." And he goes, and Drickus said, "Hey, you're not angry at me. You're just." angry at the spring box for ripping you a new asshole because ripping you a new one because the spring box rugby team which is the south african team defeated the wallabies which is the australian team man there were those, there was quite a few other moments but not, i don't remember all of them right now but man oh yeah gamrot told dan hooker i'm not gonna fuck you like a spider or something like that, because that's like an Australian saying that means I'm not going to wrestle you. Like, like F like a spider means wrestle. And he said, I'm not going to F you like a spider. So I find that hard to believe. But Gamrot said, I'm going to put your boy to sleep. So we'll see about that. But both Gamrot and Dan Hooker seemed in good spirits. Dan Hooker said, you can't ever rule me out of a fight. I've, I've always got a puncher's chance. And he might be understating it because maybe he's got more than a puncher's chance. Maybe he's putting the work and he's believing in his skill and he's ready to put on a show. There was Rosenstruck and Tuivasa, Steve Versek and Kai Kai Front. Uh, they were mostly friendly between each other. But yeah, Drickus. Man, it's... The way he makes his opponents cry, it's probably not just what he's saying, but because how he delivers it with a shit-eating grin and an air of confidence and smugness that thoroughly gets under his opponent's skin. So brilliant. Like and subscribe.